So this is the Medic Tower which was released a few days ago. It is a Virinev Tower which is 20,000 gold in the shop. It's the 6th most expensive tower in the entire game. And do you think it is really worth spending 20,000 gold? Today in this video we will find that out. It will be an overall review of the tower. As you probably know, the tower is about healing towers. The tower does no damage to the enemies. It's a support tower like the EDJ. I am editing this video right now. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. This video took me a long time to make. So anyways now we can start our review on the one of the newest towers, the medic tower. The only purpose of the tower is healing core towers. It can heal the towers inside its range. It has two different abilities and each ability has two different levels of it. We will get to the abilities a bit later. First of all, I should say that the tower is just useless in every other mod except the endless mod in my opinion. Do you think you really need the medic to heal towers in the expert mod or elite mod or easy mod? Literally. It's just useless. In expert mode, there are only two enemies which can damage your towers. The Predators and the Eradicator MK2. If you ask me, leave this tower for the last if you want to buy it. Yep, in my opinion, it doesn't have that much of an use in the game. It's like an excess road tower. There are better support towers which are so much cheaper, such as the EDJ. And you know, it is only 3.2k gold in the shop, which is so cheap. In my opinion, the EDJ is better than the Medic in many ways. Of course it can't heal all towers but it has so many other features. Both of them are unique towers by the way. One is for boosting towers and one is for healing core towers. Don't you think the medic and the mine layer look like brothers? Especially on the base levels, both of them have that Rizzi haircut. So anyways, the medic tower has a principal limit. In solo it's 12, in duo it's 6, in trio it's 5 and in quad it's only 4. If you are playing quad, you can get 16 medics in a single game at most. That's still a great number if you ask me. It could be so much better if it didn't have any placement limit. Can you expect a hundred medics man? That would make the game very laggy. Also the tower is not able to heal the warship because of its range. The range is just not enough to reach it. The tower only has two stars, the heal per second and the range of it. So yeah, it seems a bit basic but it's actually not basic. The tower is only $850 to place. On the base level it can heal the towers by 50 every second and it is a decent amount of range. I don't really think people will use the medic for its base level. It's just not that needed for the early game so yeah, there is no point of the base level. Still the tower is just really good. It is inspired from the medic in Team Fortress 2. Also, it has really cool victory animations. Look at him, man. He is actually really cool and very amazing. It has one of the lowest base health in the entire game. The medic literally has 350 health on the base level, which is actually not that much if we consider that this tower is literally 20,000 gold in the shop. That's like winning the expert mode for 14 times on an easy map. The tower is literally very expensive. The first upgrade of the top pad is $400 and the tower gets 20 more health per second. So now it can heal the towers by 7 health every second. And the bottom pad is nothing crazy, it's just a range increase and its health increases by a bit. Next up, the second top pad upgrade makes the tower have 110 heal per second. However, the bottom pad is again just a small range increase and on the bot levels, the health of the tower increases. So here we are on the first upgrades of the top pad and the bottom pad. We will start with the top pad medic first. On the 3-2 level, the tower has 110 health per second. That's really good in my opinion because it can heal the towers very easily like that. Still though, you are not going to need the medic unless you are playing down mode. Yep, it's just a bit useless. Next up, this is where it starts to get better. On this level, now the tower has a brand new ability which is the Uber ability. But it's only level 1 of your ability, so the ability is worse than what ability it has on the max level. The ability makes the tower you pick invincible for 12 seconds. It has a cooldown of 30 seconds. And you know, this is the only tower you need to wait to use the ability after getting it. This was done so you can't micromedics and make the towers invincible forever. It's kinda really bad for this tower, you know. What's the point of it then, if we can't micro it, but anyways. The tower also has nearly 400 heal per second. On the top pad max level, the ability becomes level 2. Now it makes the tower invincible for 25 seconds. The cooldown is still 30 seconds by the way. The tower also has 635 
heal per second on the top at max level. The health of the tower is a bit more than 1800. It doesn't have that much of an health. Because of that you need to be careful. Place more medics so the medics can heal each other. When we get to the bottom pad, things start to change. On the first level of the bottom pad, it's nothing crazy but the range increases by a lot. The heal per second is just still bad. Only 185 but the bottom pad isn't for healing so it's expected. On the next level, the tower gets an ability, the crease ability. The ability doubles the damage of the tower you pick for 5 seconds. It has 25 seconds of cooldown which makes it still a bit useless. The tower is also immune to stuns now. This guy can heal the towers the whole time until he dies. The heal per second is just still bad. Only 185. But the bottom pad isn't for healing so it's expected. On the bottom pad max level it is so much better however it's very expensive. It has the second level of the crease ability. Now the crease ability triples the damage of the tower you pick for 12 seconds. The cooldown is still 25 seconds. Triple damage is just awesome by the way. Literally it can make a gold not deal so much DPS. Oh my god bro, it's just crazy and very silly at the same time. However the heal per second is just very bad on this pad. It has only 260 health per second. It will take this guy 35 seconds to heal a bottom pad max level gold juggernaut. That's a very long time if you know. It has 1555 health on this level by the way. The top pad had more health. But this guy has bigger range than the top pad. When it's boosted by the EDJ, the range becomes really huge. About the cost efficiency, a top pad max level medic is around 31k dollars and a bottom pad max level medic is around 42k dollars. You know that's really expensive. About cost efficiency, in my opinion it is little bit expensive man for a support tower. And keep in mind that the abilities medic has only works on a single tower. You need to get more medics if you want to buff all of your towers. I don't think the medic is that good like how I expected it would be. I mean it's not so bad but I would give it an A tier, not an S tier for sure. Because it's just a bit useless man. But you know it's just really good in dungeon mode however the medic can easily die. It has so less health and any boss in dungeon mode can kill this tower so easily because literally they can one shoot gold juggernauts. You can't even micro the medic. So after it dies and you replace you need to wait for the cooldown to use its ability again. It's still a decent tower, but I will say don't buy it unless you don't have anything to buy. So yeah, those are my opinions on this tower. I thought it would be worth making a video on this guy because he is really cool. Let me know what you think about this tower in the comments. Is it an S tier or an A tier? Anyways man, I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, have a good day or night and see ya.